Butter. Ah. There's something about watching egg cook. The aroma of that egg, slightly toasty, eggy aroma. Just rasam leaf is like a dinner. One rasam leaf you eat, go and sleep. We got everything that you need. So it's got the protein in the egg. Yeah. It's got the hit of the spices. Yeah. It's got the warmth that comes from the shakuti masala. Yeah. You got some chicken in that too. All the juices, all the goodness from the chicken has seeped correct, into correct, the gravy. Correct. So you have some rasam omelet with some bread, some carbs. Sleep in peace. Yeah. Mm. That's absolutely delicious. I love the moistness in that omelette. Oh, as you chew on the bread, that molten butter that's trapped in the pores of the bread quite simply oozes out, coating your palate and cutting through the spice, through the chili heat. Mmm. Hi. Hello. Are you Sandeep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Kripal. No, I know it. I know. So I'm with Sandeep Bosle, and people said if you go to Goa, you have to eat Sandeep's Ross omelette. Mm -hmm. uh, why is that? Good taste. Good taste. Yeah. How did you first get the idea to do the Ross omelette? I started on Margao. Okay. There. You were working? Yeah, garment. Garment, huh? So after finishing uh, that, huh. 6 o'clock, we are going to eat there. The raw omelet. Yeah, huh. the omelet. Huh. I just, I think, start panjim panjim. Raw omelet? Yeah. My father Gado is there. So huh. Just start from 97. 97. Uh, yeah. What was your father doing in that Gado earlier? Yeah, uh, groundnuts. After that, I just I start uh, this raw omelet. Oh, one fine day you gave up your job and you said, let me start my gado with Ras Omelette. <laughs> yeah, directly start with Ras Omelette. So that is the omelette that goes into the... Yeah, yeah. So there's like a lot of spices in that I can say. I can see some chilies. You want chili, without chilli, with ah. butter, with omelette. Ah. What you want, I'm, we are giving. How did Ras Omelette begin? Start from Marga only. Yeah? Yeah. So who thought of, okay fine, combine eggs with some gravy, some gravy was left over, some eggs, is that how it began? <laughs> Just like that only. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. When it comes to the quintessential Goan snack, I think it's a raw omelette. Yeah, yeah. And then this is the gravy. Yeah, this the is the gravy of shakuti gravy. gravy. Yes, shakuti gravy. So what goes into a shakuti gravy? How many uh, masala is there? 15, 16 masala is there. And you make those masalas yeah, yourself? Yeah, yeah. All daily we are making uh, masala. Inside chicken is all, also is there. Okay. Gado only ras omelette uh, and chicken, nothing uh, else. Uh, then we are come in shop, no? We are all uh, started. Uh, ras omelette, chicken shakuti, fried rice. But what is the most popular? Ras omelette. Ras omelette. Yeah. But tell me, Goa has so many ras omelettes. Why is Sandeep so special? Honey, some taste, good taste, good love. We are using all good ingredients. Ah, yeah. That's the reason why. Yeah, yeah. Good ingredients make good food. Good food. So recipe is yours, your mom's, whose recipe? Yeah, my mom's recipe. Your mom's recipe? Yeah, yeah. first started in first five coconuts. Mm. Now we are, we are making 35 coconuts. That's the amount of coconuts that are going into your gravy. So that's the amount of shakuti that he's making on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah, daily, daily. So you make this way at home yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you bring it here. Bring it here. And this is what, only in the evening? Only evening. Evening 5 o'clock till uh, 2 o'clock. Till 2 o'clock? Yeah, yeah. So it's like a full shift, 7 hours. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> rasam is like, like a dinner. Mm. You know, one rasam you eat. Go and sleep. Go and sleep. Okay. Only 60 rupees. Only 60 rupees. We've got everything that you need. So it's got the protein in the egg. Yeah. It's got the hit of the spices. Yeah. It's got the warmth that comes from the shakuti masala. Yeah. You got some chicken in that too. All the juices, all the goodness from the chicken has seeped correct, into correct, the gravy. Correct. So you have some roast omelette with some bread, some carbs. Yes. Sleep in peace. Yeah. So I've noticed that when he prepares, he always prepares four at a time. Just four people coming on. So okay. We are putting four. Four eggs. Ten people coming, That's putting ten. Ten eggs. Yeah, ten eggs. We are giving hot. Person sit, we are giving hot, hot rasamble. So it is not sitting around. It's basically... Fast, fast, fast. Yeah. Fast. Fantastic. What do you make with the liver? You do a fry, is it? Uh, 
over a half minute. Mm, okay. We just uh, mm -hmm. put little oil, masala, then okay. full uh, full fry. That's the butter, yeah. butter puff. I'll taste the rasam ladoo. Rasam ladoo. Yeah. I'll taste the rasam ladoo. So I'll, I will make a. Huh? Oh, fantastic. We have the honor of Sandeep making our yeah, rose yeah. omelette. Salt, some onion, some green chili. Butter. Ah. There's something about watching egg cook. The aroma of that egg, slightly toasty, eggy aroma. That's my rose omelette. Thank you. That pav is kadak, huh? roasted in a lot of butter. But this is a dish, this is the pot of gold that all of Goa can't seem to get enough of. The Sandeep Ross omelette. So Ross is basically gravy, right? Coconut gravy. Yeah. Coconut. coconut gravy. Yeah, coconut gravy. So the Ross, as Sandeep has clarified, is a coconut gravy. And then of course the omelette is the omelette. I want to taste that gravy first. Rich in the coconut yeah. and spicy too. Yeah, a little spicy. Little spicy. Mm. Mm. You know what's nice is that the salt in that omelette cuts through the spice. So when you taste the curry by itself, it is rather spicy. But then I suppose this curry is also fortified enough to share its spicing, to share its flavors with the omelette. So the combination is basically the omelette and the curry. Mm. Also that omelette is roasted only to the point where the egg congeals without becoming too dry. Mm. That's absolutely delicious. I love the moistness in that omelette. Lest I forget my buttered pav. I think this is an omelette that you can easily eat two of. One is okay just to introduce your palate to the Ross omelette. Mm. Oh, all that butter in the bread. As you chew on the bread, that molten butter that's trapped in the pores of the bread quite simply oozes out, coating your palate and cutting through the spice, through the chili heat a little more. Mm. Of course, you have some onions on the side, but there's a fair bit of onions already atop this Ross omelette. Mm. A piece of chicken there. Sandeep, can I have one more single? Ross omelette, sir? Mm. Okay, thanks, sir. I think the first Ross omelette that you will taste here is only to make introductions. The second one is where you'll probably have a conversation with that Ross omelette. Mm. So the curry is fairly fortified when it comes to the spices, when it comes to the ingredients that go into the shakuti masala, also that green chilli heat etc. And similarly, even the omelette is quite fortified with the salt. So I think what happens is when they come together, they share each other's characteristics. So the omelette lends a bit of the salt to the rose, the rose lends its spicing to that omelette and that's really what results in a happy union that in Goa they call the rose omelette. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. And I think what's also helping is that buttered pav. That pav is literally oozing butter. Mm. Ah, very hot. This is a sort of omelette that's quite addictive. And what I also like is that the eggs are quite fluffy. So the eggs too are quite light, they're not stodgy in the least. Before you know it, you're already done with a single. I would advise you that when you come here and are tasting the raw omelette for the first time, especially if they are busy, ask for a double. Because of pehle wale se to bas aap jaan pechaan karoge. With the second one, you'll have a conversation. Hmm. Can I uh, have a portion of the liver? Liver, liver. Uh, liver, give me a portion. He's also doing some liver fry, some chicken gizzard fry, some chicken fry as well. What's interesting with the chicken is that it's quite mild in its flavors. I would have expected it to soak up a lot more of the shakuti gravy, but that isn't the case here. Let's see what lime brings to that raw omelette mix. Perhaps some more onions. 
I think what the onions also help you do is lengthen your enjoyment of the omelet because you now have added volume, volume in the onions, and perhaps also if you like some extra gravy on the side. What I'm enjoying is the lightness of that egg. It's just roasted enough to congeal the molten texture of the egg, but it still retains a bit of moistness, which is nice. And the crunch of the onions. Mm. So his regular customers are coming here in their cars, ordering the raw omelet, sitting in the car and eating. So does this also do well in parcel? We are giving a parcel in container. Another crunch of that pow. Mm. What a pow. And they roast it with a lot of butter and what they do is they also add some weight to the pow. So that helps the pow roast to a crisp. I'm tasting the flavor of the spices in that raw omelette. After tasting all the spices and the heat, now I can taste the butteriness of the pow. And that is the liver fry. This is what we call perfect timing. I'm almost done with my roast omelette. You know what's interesting about the liver? This is texture. The liver is half done and when they get an order, they toss in some oil and then they roast the liver with some spices. So I can taste definitely some coriander in there, some cumin in there. And that's basically roasted to an extent where you have a bit of a crunchy sort of an exterior. and it's quite soft and powdery inside. I think there's also a bit of curry leaf that I taste in that mix somewhere. Has a curry leaf pan tak like, huh? Some toasted curry leaf. So in addition to the cumin, the coriander and things like that, you can also taste the distinct notes of the curry leaf. So I think this liver makes for a nice add-on to the star item here, which is the raw omelette. So if you want a taste of Goa's delicious street food tradition, definitely find your way to Sandeep Ross Omelette here at Dr. Atmaram Borkar Road in Panjim. I hope you've enjoyed this short but very tasty episode. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong and happy eating. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!